Honorable Deputy Speaker, the local spheres of governance in the most important sphere and as far as delivery of services is concerned. It is also true that most of our municipalities are in dysfunctional state with incompetent people and have become heavens for criminals whose sole intention is to loot the public resources. There are agent reforms needed, therefore to restructure the entire system of municipal governance to guide against abuse of authority, against lapses in governance that leads to corruption, to regulate appointments not just of councillors but of senior management too, and to have and, and to and to have the measures against those who engage in corrupt and destructive activities. Instead of limiting itself to matters relating to the election of councillors and regulating the minimum number of councillors per municipality, as this bill does, it could have been used to comprehensively restructure local government. We do support the clarification of minor issues, such as the date at which councillors become officially elected. And we welcome the proposed coming from the Northern Cape in particular, that there must be a minimum of 15 councillors per municipality. But these are barely enough to tackle the structural impediments to efficient local government and delivery of services. This relates primarily to the lack of consequence management in municipalities. The Auditor General has for years identified problems that need to be resolved in each municipality and year after year, these problems have not been resolved. These problems relating to the lack of appropriate, of the lack of appropriate financial and management skills, political interference, and infighting in councils have crippled local government in this country. As a result, the majority of municipalities are in a symbolic state, which suits the ANC objectives of looting quiet well. A comprehensive solution of this problem is required, and that includes tightening up legislative provisions and improving the administrative capacity of the municipalities to collect debt, fix infrastructure, and report regularly on services delivery challenges. The solution must also entail a relook at the founding model of local government to ensure that the bulk of the national budget actually goes to where it's needed the most, to the municipalities who are the call phase of service delivery. This must also entail asking a question about the continued relevance of the provincial spheres of government and the need for the discontinuation of provinces to pay more attention to service delivery at the local level. We are in a broad support of the amendments proposed in this bill, but we urge that it could have been utilized to usher in much more comprehensive changes to the structure and functioning of the local government. In conclusion, we are asking all South Africans to vote for the EFF. EFF is the only party that will usher true freedoms to our people. Stop voting for this ANC year after year, which continues to put our people in more poverty. It keeps on telling you, Tuma Mina, Tuma Mina, and they are continuing by in that Tuma ring of theirs. Therefore, we are asking all South Africans to vote for EFF. Thank you very much. Honorable Ngwezi.